Okay guys, so I just had a question about how to draw a kitchen and some kitchen items like a fridge and cabinets and things like that. Um, and I am very much a shower, not a teller. So I made this video to show you how to do those things in case anyone else is interested. So to draw a fridge, you would do like you did in the example video with the dresser. You'd start with a rectangle that's kind of here. And you would use your ruler. I'm just kind of sketching stuff on here. Um, and then my ruler is very tiny. But it's the best I have right now. Connect. Connect. And then theoretically you would do like you've done in the examples where you connect these back corners and draw a smaller rectangle. Some of you have figured out already that you really don't need to do that because you're just gonna end up erasing all that stuff that's on the inside. I'm trying to fix this line. Um, so really all you need is like this line right here. Then you can erase. You've got a block that can be turned into a fridge. I would probably maybe do something like this. And, you know, put like a little handle thing here and a handle thing here, something like that. To make counters, so like a countertop with some cabinets below. Um, if you were making on this back wall back here, you would start with kind of like a rectangle and you would make that rectangle go further than this back corner because this is going to be the front of the cabinets. So over here, I'm going to make it go here like this. And you want this to be just a good medium height. You definitely want it below the dot. Um, the dot would be like where your eyes are if you're looking straight out. So you definitely don't want counters that are taller than that because that would be weird. And you see I made it touch this wall right here. Then across. And then I would connect these back here to the dot, but I would only go as far as this back corner. Same thing here. Only going as far as the back corner and then connecting here. And that would give me some cabinets down here on the bottom. Like that, you know, you could go in and add individual little cabinets with knobs. And if you wanted to put like a sink in here, you could, whatever you wanna do. Um, to add counters up at the top, you would do the same thing, except for you would make sure they were above the dots. So I would have a line here, making sure that it goes out farther than this wall. Ideally, I might like it to kind of line up with what I've done here. Make it go all the way up to the ceiling. That's. Then connect it down here, but only as far as the back wall. Oops. And then a line here, going across like that. And then you have some cabinets. These actually go all the way to the ceiling. I just realized that most kitchen cabinets do not go all the way to the ceiling. You could make them lower if you wanted to. You would have to take them all the way to the ceiling. Some places do. And again, you know, you can put doors and things like that. To add some counters and cabinets over here, you would start at the very edge of your page. And if you already had these, you might actually go, you might use this as reference. If you weren't having cabinets back here, you would just start with a rectangle. But since I already have cabinets back here and I want the countertops to line up, like I want them to be the same height, I'm gonna use this for reference. And I'm going to extend my counter out this way. I think about how thick I need it to be. So probably about like this to be the other side of the counter. Something like that. And then 
straight down to here. And then here. And I'm going to erase this stuff in here. Again, some doors and knobs and things like that. So you have this kind of lining up with this. I missed it right there a little bit, but you see what I'm saying. 